Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how you guys can make money with the car lift. Yes, getting a lot of questions about this. People want to know what it is, if it's worth it, how much money can you make from it. And honestly, it's pretty self-explanatory once you get into it. And we'll be talking about this, whether or not you should actually get this and add this to your money grind. Uh, it does cost about 550000 for the extra car lift. And then if you want to get the extra personnel as well, it'll be additional charge. So just keep that in mind. But before we get started, you guys know what to do. Make sure you subscribe to my channel with bell notifications turned on, okay? Don't miss out on any future content, update, live streams, any of that stuff, all right? You know it's going to be a banger. Go ahead and drop a like, all right? So with this, basically what it is is that you'll get a phone call from Sasanta and she lets you know that you have a car or a customer that's ready to get this vehicle and you have to kind of soup it up. It's really all that it is, all right? So let me show you. Basically, this is my very first time getting it. You've probably already seen this you know, in the game. Uh, a customer vehicle has arrived at your auto shop. Modify it to their specification and deliver it back to them to earn additional cash. So Sasanto will be talking about this. and But there are a few little twists with it, which is pretty cool. Check this out. So once you get inside your auto shop, it says a customer has delivered a vehicle to your auto shop to be serviced. Repair the vehicle for an upfront cost and install any requests such as color resprays or body and performance upgrades. Once serviced, you or a hired staff can deliver the vehicle to the customer to receive payment. Alternative modifications can be installed but may affect the customer's liking. And you, you may get more money or you may get less money depending on how the customer actually likes your modification. So it's kind of a risk. It's pretty cool, all right? So this is the first vehicle. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, it tells you what you need to do, right? And if you look at the bottom right, you have a checklist. So you service the vehicle, which is to fix it up. Then it says respray the color salmon pink. So do that. Then if you look at the bottom right corner, that little green dot shows up right next to where it says respray. We go into performance. And this person wants street suspension. They want EMS upgrade level two. And they want a sports transmission to add for their performance. So you go through all that. And then you'll notice the actual little white dot next to where it says performance will turn green. And that's why, how you know, you know you've got that taken care of. All right. The engine tunes, we got this knocked out. Transmission, sport transmission, got that. Then we move on to the body work. So you back out, go to where it says body work, and then once you're in there, it'll tell you exactly what you gotta have. All right, we're going to body work right here. It says this customer wants, you know, a grill. They want debadged grill. They want a front bumper with a carbon street splitter, and then they want the big bore exhaust. All right, so you knock all this out. You get that taken care of. Go down to the carbon splitter, carbon street splitter. Put that on there, and then once you get everything to their liking you're able to actually decide whether or not you want to go a little bit further. And that is the gamble. That's the risk. And then you also have to decide whether or not you are going to deliver or you're going to let one of your personnel deliver it. And that also has its own risk as well. All right. Um, this has not happened to me, but I've had multiple people tell me that your personnel can actually crash the car on delivery and you will lose money. So it is a... It is a passive way to get money. You can have your your person to deliver it, but it is a risk, all right? Now, you pay the $35,000 fee up front. It doesn't matter what type of upgrades you put on there. It's a $35,000 fee, but you do get that back on delivery, okay? And then if you choose to deliver the vehicle yourself, you just have a, a you know couple mile, two, three, four mile drive, which is wherever it is, do not crash the vehicle because you will lose out on the payment. And then if you just customize the vehicle normally, your payment will be 25000 So we deliver it. The customer's all excited. Yay. And you get a little invoice, little breakdown of the actual payment. So we delivered the vehicle, $25,000 for the delivery. Service cost is $35,000. We final payment was sixty dollars but we net profited $25,000. All right. Now, once that's done, you'll be you know, doing your thing in free mode. Sasanta will call you again and say, hey, there's another customer that's got a vehicle here. So you go back to your, your mod shop or your auto shop, and then you decide you want to go ahead and customize it. So on this one, I did this a little bit different. All right. We go back here, and then we have a vehicle in the mod shop. I go above and beyond with this. I don't. 
I, I not only you know put on what they want, but I, I go a little bit of extra with the performance on there. And I confirm that, and then I decide to let my staff deliver the vehicle. So we did that. Staff delivers the vehicle. We pay the $35,000 fee, right? And then Sasanta will contact you and send payment when your staff member has delivered the vehicle. So it, was going around. it took about 5, 10, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, I think. And then we got the delivery. She said, client just got their car. Sounds like you threw in some finesse with those mods. Client was into it. So they threw us back a little bonus. As you saw there, I got a $46,000 payday. So I got a pretty good little bonus on there. Not too bad, right? All right, with this one, I decided to go ahead and go above and beyond with almost every single category. Still, I only had to pay thirty-five thousand, but all, almost every category I just max. I put on you know the, what would normally be the most expensive mod if you were having to pay for it, and then I have a delivery. It's just a short delivery, about a mile and uh, point three or something like that. Take it on down there, down to the uh, marina, drop it off at the Corona Ring. The customer is stoked. Yeah. All right. Deliver the keys to her. She takes off. However, didn't go so good, though. The satisfaction was negative 5,000. So Santa calls and tells that the you went overboard with the customization and the client wasn't into it. So I actually lost five grand on that. I only net profit at 20,000. So it's actually pretty cool. I do like it. Now, is the car lift, you know, worth it? Is, is paying the 550 for the extra car lift, is it necessary? Do you need to have that? No, it's, it's not. But it is fun. I do recommend it. You'll need to sell about 25 vehicles at 25 grand to, you know, make your money back and for some profit. It is fun, though. And you do get them in a quick succession uh so i mean you'll get them pretty often and you can make that money pretty quick and you can do this in an invite only lobby so it's that, that's nice as well all right so do you have to have it no is it kind of fun as adds to a little bit you know the content definitely go for it on that on that aspect all right hope you guys enjoyed the video if you got any questions let me know in the comments down below make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game smash i mean smash that like button We'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out. Yeah, yeah.